Okay, so for question part H, what is your recommendation to reduce the homelessness? Actually, we can see that to reduce the homelessness, then we just need to look at the variable with the negative uh, beta estimate because negative beta estimate means the increase of that uh, variable will reduce the number of homelessness or if we look at the variables with the positive beta estimates, then if we want to reduce the number of homelessness, then we have to reduce the value of the realization of the variables. Okay, so looking at this, if we just look at this result, then to reduce the number of homelessness, the recommendation that I can give is that you reduce the rental price or you increase the vacancy rate or you increase the rent control law increase the employment growth increase the share of employment increase the size of low skill labor market or decrease the number of households below poverty level reduce the number of um, reduce the expenditures on public welfare, increase the AFDC benefits, reduce the SSI benefits, um, reduce the present reduction in AFDC or reduce the AFDC accuracy rate and increase the mental health in patients, increase the fraction of birth of teenage mothers, Wait, it's kind of like strange if we increase the fraction of birth to teenage mothers, yes. But because it gives us negative value of the beta estimates, then, yeah, statistically speaking, it will reduce the number of homelessness. Although I think that it's quite um, contrary to the common knowledge that we know because you know fraction of birth to teenage mothers it means that we encourage the young people to give birth is kind of like doesn't make sense but this is just statistically speaking right not um, on the contextual speaking probably there's something else to explain about these things okay maybe there are confounding variables or something like that and also related to blacks but 100,000 population the coefficient is positive and if you want to reduce the number of homelessness statistically speaking here is the reduce the number of blacks which is if you put it into action is like kind of like violation to so many things but in this case again we just limit ourselves to statistically point of view just based on according to the number okay and also we can also decrease the number of population which is kind of like of course if the number of population is reduced then the number of homelessness is also reduced because there is less people which is this kind of recommendation is kind of like ridiculous if we don't look into the context of the problem but again here the emphasis is on the just look at this statistically point of view that's what we can say but then if we consider the significance of the variable i mean that regardless of the danger in doing the individual t-test before then uh, if I have to make my recommendation only on those variables that are significant, then my recommendation only limited to, um, I think only one and two and then three and four, only on four variables. Because for all other variables, there's like not enough data, uh, not enough information to say whether those variables are strongly related with the number of homelessness or not so then my recommendation is that to reduce the number of homelessness then we can just reduce the rental price um, and then here increase the employment growth and uh, uh, reduce the AFDC benefits as 
as well as oh sorry because this is negative so it means that to increase the AFDC benefits and reduce the SSI benefits.